Welcome to Photo Green Lake, class one, with Frank. Say your name for the people, Frank. Frank Greif. Thank it you. looks like grief, and sometimes it is. <laughs> Mostly it's Greif. Yeah. And Carol, did you want to say a couple of things? Well, I'm just, I'm really glad that you're all here, and it, it, it's just really um, a pleasure to have Frank lead this class, and um, I know that all of you will really enjoy it. Um, but his expertise is amazing, so <laughs> let's all take advantage of that. Wow. Yes. Yes. Live up to that? Thank you, Frank. Yeah, live up to that? Wow, okay. Well, um, just a little bit of background. Uh, I, I, like most of you, have been taking pictures all my life. Uh, taking pictures. Just snapping everything from kids to traveling and all of that sort of thing. And then a number of years ago, about six years ago, I decided, well, wait a minute. Why don't I just really get serious and buy a good camera? I semi-retired at that time, and so I started taking a lot of classes and whatnot. And uh, it's turned out that I really enjoy this. Um, so photography has become uh, really a fun hobby. Um, I've managed to win a couple of uh, contests. I've had some exhibits in different places and that sort of thing. <clears throat> uh, but it's truly a hobby. And then the other part is that I love teaching. I love working with folks. So this is a real combination for me. Thank you very, very much for coming here. Uh, most important thing I want to have happen is that everybody has fun. Mm -hmm. So we'll just do that. That's why we say having fun with photography at Green Lake. That is, in fact, shot right off the beach. Um, one of the things, we came, we moved in here in August. And uh, we, we love to say we go out and we walk around the lake. Now that doesn't necessarily mean we walk around the lake. It means we walk around <laughs> the lake. So, you know, you don't have to go very far to find really fun things to photograph. <laughs> so let me just walk you through how I want to want to approach this. Um, do you recognize that? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of that photograph? Boyce Lynn, you're going like that. Why? I mean, let me interrupt. I want you to be hypercritical, and I don't take offense, because some of these I have taken specifically to have problems. So don't think you're going to be saying, oh, I can't say that about Frank's picture. Yes, you can. It's scenic, but it doesn't have any people or animals or life in it, ducks or anything. Okay. So it's kind of dry for your eye. That's nice, but... Yeah. What were you going to say, Boyce? Oh, well, the word came to mind was boring. <laughs> yeah, boring. Okay. I got that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I like it because it is... It's hard to get that much of lakeside in a photograph, or even looking at it, mm -hmm. you know, from across the lake. So that, even though the bottom floors aren't there, it shows how tall it is and okay. majestic. What's the story in that picture? No swimming. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't want to do all talking, but it's also full of life in its own way because it has the spring trees with the, the light on the trees mm -hmm. and a bit of blue sky at the top. It's very Pacific Northwest. And it's our home. Uh -huh. yeah. It's our home. Well, it also, for me, it says, oh, look at this. There's this high rise. We don't know exactly what it is if we don't live here. On a beach. How really cool that is. And the absence for me of waterfowl and people and all of that says so either this is really early in the morning or one of those days that fools you in Seattle where it looks nice and you go outside and it's 48 degrees. So, so that's why we kind of just dig into to photographs. So um, I have two questions for you. And the first one is this. What do you, whoops. Well, okay. At the same time. So what are you using? Are you using a smartphone as a camera or a camera camera? Smartphone, raise your hand. Both. Well, okay. Throw my camera away. All of you are using smartphones. That's actually really a fun thing for me because there's so many amazing things you can do. Quick story. Uh, a friend of mine bought a very, very expensive camera with a big lens, went to Europe for three weeks. Um, and he also bought a new iPhone 14 or whatever. He used that camera and lens 
for three days, put it away, used his iPhone, came home, sold me the really expensive camera and lens for less than half price just to get rid of it. Because it's so heavy. Walter takes incredible photographs. It's just, it's really pretty amazing. So then the other question that I rush, rushed into, what's your comfort level? Who would, who here would you say you're an absolute beginner? Mm -hmm. Never taken a photograph? Yes, I have. Okay, you've taken some. Well, yes, I have. Okay. Why would you be a beginner what do you, then? What do you say? Well, because I think there's so much where more I can learn. your comfort yeah. level? Talk. So your comfort level, are you a beginner or are you someone where, who would say, oh yeah, I take pictures? Okay. I take pictures. Okay. Yeah, I take pictures. How about... Well, I'm good, but I want to get better. All right. Wow. What's your experience that says you're good? You just feel good. Yeah, I, just, I can't get a lot of pictures if I and have yeah. a big family. Okay, mostly family pictures? No. Artsy pictures? Yeah, some. Ooh. Fine <laughs> art pictures. How do you define that? Artsy pictures that look really good. <laughs> I, don't to, I don't want to be conceited, but I think some of them are. Yeah, well, that's great. No, well, you feel good about your artwork. I think that's great. Because if you consider it artwork, then it's really kind of do whatever you want to do. All right. So we can have a range here, which is great. We all know that the instrument we'll be using is this kind of device. I think it's important to recognize that uh, it's mm -hmm. not about the camera. Um, people say, how'd you get, you must have a fabulous camera. No, it's my phone. It's about your eye. Oh, you no. know, I was looking up this morning, <laughs> all the things I hadn't looked up before on my cell phone about a camera. And there's an awful lot of things that, I mean, as much as if you were using a um, big camera. Absolutely right. I yeah. was very surprised. Yeah, well, really what's happened is we now have cameras with phones attached. Yeah. I mean, that's mm -hmm. that's the quality. Well, I buy mine that way. Pardon? I buy mine that way for the camera. That's Did you? Oh, yeah. what, do you what, what do you have? Uh, Samsung. Okay. But, I mean, that I'm always more concerned about the camera than anything else. Yeah. Good. Good. Well, um, <clears throat> what we want to do is move from just taking pictures, right? to making a photograph so that it is rather than a spontaneous thing, well, that is good many times, a thoughtful process. How do I tell the story I wanted? What, what's the emotion? So to show you what I'm talking about is this is an iPhone photo. This is an iPhone photo. Now these are all what have been wandering around the lake and I carry my phone with me you know, and I'll see something and I'll go, oh, click, click, click. Um, this is an iPhone photo. No, yeah, that's an iPhone photo. Mm -hmm. Now, to pause here for a second, what, what is that about? Well, we were walking along this, the lake and, and I glanced over and saw this hollow in the trunk and I thought, you know, that, that looks a little bit like a heart. Mm -hmm. And I took about six different photographs of it and then came back and looked at them, and this is the one I wanted. <coughs> so I would also say something I meant to say at the beginning is that the reason I'm now doing this is because I take so many photographs I couldn't when we were using film because they didn't have a big enough bankroll. You know, and now if you want to shoot film, you're not going to find a place easily to uh, have it develop. So you can, you know, shoot and erase all you want. Um. The pictures on either side are so much better. Is there any way to improve that? That's so look, you're, you'll just have to yeah. you know, just look, you at look at the clear one, look on the on yeah. either side. Mm -hmm. It's That's just the, the yeah. way the projector works. This is coming yes, through. Yes, look at the side projector. pictures. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can look at that one or that one. Or you can just look here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, iPhone photo. So those are all iPhone photos. This is a camera photo. Thank you. Um, and you know, you can you can tell there's a little bit of a quality difference, but really, that's a camera photo. You know what that is? Boat. Is it the boats? It's the bottom of the boats over in front of the right. Mm -hmm. And this. Oh, that's great. I like that. It's a great picture. Thank you. 
So you can see when you look at those six different photographs, the images are different, but the quality for the kind of thing we're doing here doesn't make any difference whether it's a camera or a phone. So I'm going to do three concepts this morning. And the first one is, um, if you don't like the photo, you're probably not close enough. I mean, we all take pictures of family gatherings and all of that sort of thing. We had a big family gathering uh, yesterday. Uh, the first time we've been able to get together with in-laws and all of that sort of thing in more than a year. And of course, I had my camera there and became really obnoxious because I was taking all these, and I thought, no, no. So I'd walk up and get two people together and all of that, that sort of stuff because it has more of an impact. So I was trying to think, well, how am, I, how am I going to explain that? And I went through all my photographs and whatnot, and I didn't have anything to do with it. So I had to go over to the PCC co-op yesterday uh, to get something for the family gathering, and I thought, I'll take my camera. By the way, you should carry your camera or your phone with you all the time. You know, there's nothing. The best way to get better is to take more pictures, mm -hmm. make more photographs, right? So I got over there, and uh, I took my camera, and I saw this. <laughs> oh. What do you like about that? <laughs> Everything. One's looking at you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a great snap. It's really. The subject, you caught, you caught the subject isn't centered either, which is good. Say that again, please. I said the subject isn't centered, which is yeah, good. Exactly. Did you we'll ask permission to take pictures? Of Pardon? Did you ask permission to take pictures of those? When I shoot, when I shoot children, I always ask permission. Except when we're out walking around the lake, and I see somebody toddling along and whatnot. Um, I have a website. Um, I do not put pictures of kids on my website without the parents' permission. This woman I saw, I, my wife gets really upset with me at times, calls me a stalker because I would follow people, you know. I followed her around a couple of aisles and then when it was a convenient place, I said, excuse me, I said, tomorrow I'm going to be teaching a class on photography and I just love your kids. Can I take pictures? She said, yes. And then I said, could you please move over here so the background's better? <laughs> and she did. So what's wrong with that photograph? What could make it better? I would think it would look better if it were center. OK. I think it could be a little closer. A little closer? Oh, yeah. And there's the feet. Yeah, but then it would cut like the little baby's feet off. Or oh, something. no, no, no. I'd keep the feet for sure. Oh, I just, I'd, oh I'd you would? You'd keep the feet? Yeah, yeah I'd take the top right and I'd bring it down. No, don't go closer. Just crop it better. Yes, so, okay. Now, the, the, the message, the question, the statement, whatever it was, just crop it better. I want you to know I have not cropped these photos because I can, I can go back and using Lightroom and Photoshop really manipulate the photos. Oh, yeah. That's not going to do you any good. Because yeah. you're not going to, I don't think each of you has Photoshop or all of that sort of stuff. So I want to keep it just out of the camera stuff, all right? So, <clears throat> well, well, for me, one of the problems is I don't like, it's, first of all, it's not really in focus. Also, um, there's just, Okay, you know you're in a grocery store, but there's just there's just too much clutter. Baby. What I wanted to take a picture of was the baby up front, right? So I took three steps, three steps, and got that. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and all I did is I took three steps and went, hi. <laughs> nice. Good pose. How do you feel about it being centered? Uh, I'm, I'm, there's a, there's a, a thing we will discuss later on called the rule of thirds. I find photo, photos where the subject matter is dead center, unless it is, is designed specifically that way, to be kind of boring. It just kind of, the eye, the eye, the eye has a natural tendency to go to a spot here, 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 or a spot here. That's the rule of thirds that we'll look at later. And so this eye in the, in the camera, it's not quite there, but this eye, which is the dominant eye, 
right? Mm -hmm. uh, is is almost in that rule of, uh, that rule of thirds point. Okay. So I think I think it's important to move off. Uh, there are exceptions. Um, watch yeah, this is the magic. Here's the magic. Oh, yeah, that one with there. Damn it, that. That's gorgeous. But see, what I did here um, was I very specifically, I shot it first, so it was like this, right? And then the question, this kind of goes out of the frame, you're going, around. so I used these two trees as a, fr as a framing element. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. and, and sure, that's in the middle, and yet, because you've got this, um, it just, it works. It's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. The reflection in the lake and everything. I particularly like on the mm -hmm. side ones. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah. And just the, the scattered picnic stuff on the, uh -huh. on the grass, that's great. Yeah. I probably have uh, 50 photographs of people slumbering in hammocks with the lake. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's so, it's so great, yeah. you know. So anyway. Yeah. So is, is the person taking a photo with their phone, do you think? He's reading something on his phone. <laughs> yeah. Well, and that's the other thing, um, jumping ahead, but, but there is one of the concepts, particularly when you have people, is there has to be a gesture. If people are just static, it doesn't mean anything. And gesture doesn't mean going like this. Gesture means, see his hands? If he weren't doing that, if you didn't see his hands in there, and his head up a little bit, it wouldn't be, it'd be an interesting mm -hmm. art statement. Mm -hmm. So, the framing is, is really important. Whoops, one more. So, yeah, by, just by moving in. <laughs> Here's a simpler, simpler one that occurred as I was walking back from the grocery store. You know, you see all the people out there playing all the time, and they say, well, that's kind of interesting. What's wrong with that photograph? Dead center. Yeah, what else? The gray line in the front. Yeah. I think you're too far back. Right. There's something else, too. So, so how comfortable am I? See what? You're look not, at me. See I'm this? not either. Yeah, you're not either because I'm not level, right? Look at the horizon line. Mm -hmm. See this? Going down. The eye, in a, in a very subtle way, recognizes that. So if the horizon line is not. That's still a hill. If you're actually walking out there. Yeah, it is, it is a hill, but if I if I brought the camera up just a little bit more, so where those folks in the blue were yeah. up level, that it would have a different feel. But the significance is that I am too far away. This time I took four steps. Mm -hmm. Because really you have to ask, what's this picture about? Mm -hmm. Well, we don't know. <laughs> what's this picture about? about, you know, something. Playing. Playing, yeah. 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 Product placement. Oh, Product yeah. placement. <laughs> Sorry, I watched too many movies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would be a good Oh, I just found my camera. So you did bring your camera. Oh, I'm not losing it totally. Oh, thank you. Okay. Wow. Making progress here. So, concept two. This is really important. What you leave out is just as important, if not more important, as what you leave in. That's why when you ask the question, what is this photograph about? If there are too many elements in the photograph, the viewer's not going to know. So what we want to do is get rid of the clutter, that starts with asking yourself, why am I taking this photograph? What is it that I'm trying to capture? What do you think of that? Not much. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that or I love not much. Okay. Why not? 
And remember, I said be critical. That's how we learn. What's 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 on what's not good about this photograph? It's boring. It's boring. Okay. The uh, lifeguard station is extraneous. Yeah. And unattractive. Mm -hmm. Maybe too much going on in there. I don't know. Right. That. Sure. I mean, but with the bike and are they eating lunch and right. everything? So I, when I took this photograph, I really liked it because what the story I was trying to tell is the two gestures involved. He's having a drink. She's eating a sandwich and then her hand gesture. And it's just kind of like, you know, a fun little picnic on the beach, right? So if it were just like that, it still might be all right. But the problem for me is this doesn't have anything to do with it. No. So okay, let's say we get rid of that. Well, then you have this. Yeah. Yeah. So there's just there's just too much, too much. So, what do you think I did? Prompted. No. You came closer. You. No. You walked over to the left. To the side. I moved. I moved. I moved. The most important thing you can do is move. And guess what? When you move. The camera moves with you. So all I did was walk to the left and kept looking at people sitting on the beach. Oh, that's right. And got that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now this is one of the things where the dog for me is it, it, it kind of makes the photo. Um, and what I did is I just stood there watching the dog move its head around and then started making little strange noises and pretty soon the dog looked at me and it went click you've done something else interesting in the last picture the bottom line was straight i mean it was crooked it was crooked yeah and this one it's the other way around yeah I don't know if it makes much difference. It does make a little difference it, that, because, because it does have a slight tilt to it. Mm -hmm. um, there's a, a basic rule uh, that for what the eye does. When everything in a photograph is perfectly level, it's static and boring. Now this is not, I'm not talking about the horizon because if you're, if this were, were, you see the horizon out there, if it were tilted, you know, you'd be going, that's where your eye would go. If there is a diagonal line in a photograph, it adds tension. Now, look how subtle that diagonal line is, and yet it's there. So in a very subtle way, it has an impact on the photo. I like the tree on the left, the way that comes down. Yeah. Yeah. See the yes. wing, you know, what uh, season it is, I think, more than anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think if the tree were, were not there, it'd be pretty boring because it would be yeah. just kind of that gray lake on everywhere. Yeah. Joanne? So it makes the concrete and the tree make special angles. Yes. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, good point. Yeah. Well, the other thing, if, if, you, if you study art composition, is, is triangles. Triangles in, in photographs always make a, make a, have a big impact. And there are several that seem kind of silly, but there's a triangle. This is a triangle, right? Mm -hmm. This is a triangle. This is a triangle. And so there are just, there are all kinds of triangles in there. Even the ground. Yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah, even the ground. Yeah, good point. So those are all, all design elements that as we go along, we'll, we'll look at a little bit more. So again, the idea of, I just thought that was so great, this guy sitting on the edge of the lake playing his guitar. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I like it, but I ask you, what's that post? Yeah, the post is distracting. <laughs> the post is really distracting, isn't it? Yes. Where your eye goes. By the way, just so you know, your eye always goes to the lightest part of the picture. And you look at the, on the very left edge of that post is where it's really bright. 
Yeah, yeah I think that wrecks the photo. Yeah. What else, though? There's something else in there. What? In the water. Oh, yeah, in the water. The post in the water. Yeah. Okay. So what do you think I did? Move? Yeah. I moved. <laughs> this time, I took a couple of steps to the right and got that. Okay. That's yeah. right. <laughs> So it's still, it doesn't, you know, I, I, what I was really trying to do was capture the neck of the guitar so that you could see exactly what it was, but... Would that I, be better just with the pole gone? Well, uh, for me... Because if you I, got if, the angle in yeah. the second one, yeah, that one. You, you got the angle there that's nice. Here, in this one? In this one, yeah. Yeah, yeah I agree. But the pole's there. other than getting out a well, saw and cutting down the pole, or asking him to move, or cutting it out in your well, I, yeah, you could. Well, if you could Photoshop yeah, it out, that, but it's not it, to, yeah. to me that picture. If I took the pole out, this picture still wouldn't be real strong. So you know, I like it better than the other one. You do. You like it better than this one. Yeah, I do too. Okay. There's more interest to it because you can well, see. Well, there, that's short, and the other one looks out. Yes. And okay, I'll buy that. Both sides of the, the instrument on, the on this one. Yeah. Is there an issue with him being dead center, or her whoever, being dead center in that one too? Wait, in this one or in in that one? In this? No, that one. No, that one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but that here's yeah, there could be. Sure. Sure. On the other one, if you move farther to the right, so you would like maybe give a little bit more of the guitar. That yeah, that's right. If I got more yeah, if I'd gone further to the right, I may have in fact been able to get. The neck of the guitar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I was lazy. <laughs> well, your wife got sick of you. Yeah. Yeah. My wife saying, "Come on, let's keep walking." Or did, the, did the subject notice you? Was he the, never did. Was the jig up? And yeah, that's right. So that's a really interesting thing. I, I um, as soon as somebody realizes you are taking their photograph and you're trying to do what is what is called street photography, just not that it's over. Because you, you know, you say, "Oh, just relax, relax, relax." There, it's still going to be there. There's going to be. You know, there's always some little thing. It's just very, very difficult to capture somebody spontaneously once they know you're taking their photograph. So, and that's why phones are good because it's a silent, you know, very soft. Do you run into any trouble, particularly taking people all the time without asking or anything, just that kind of thing? So the question is, do I get into trouble or taking pictures of people all the time? I mean, are people unhappy with you today? I've been doing this for quite a while, and I probably had three or four people say, what are you doing? Yeah. And, and it's a very interesting thing. If you are out on the street and somebody takes their photo, if, if, if somebody's out there and I take their photo, I can do anything I want with it except put it in an advertisement. I can make it into an article, which I've done. I can, you know, put it on my website. If you go to my website, there are lots of pictures in the street and all that sort of thing. So, yeah. And, you know, you also just have to be polite. And as I said earlier, taking photographs of kids, different ballgame. Yeah. Here's another one. Uh, the number of people who, who step off the concrete ledge and sit down in the weeds just surprises me. Every part of the lake. What do you think? Joanne's shaking your head. <laughs> Why? Well, somebody tell me what like you think. The most interesting thing is supposed to be that concrete ledge. I don't feel that, I think it's too much of the picture. Yeah, the, yeah, it's a picture of a concrete ledge and somebody sitting just beyond it. Yeah. What and else? The, and the, the, green trees is, the green trees are extra bright too. Yeah, the green trees are over, over, overexposed. And the, the far back should be level. Yeah, the horizon is not level. Right. <laughs> the thing that's most disturbing for me though is what's right in the center. That pig plastic. The plastic, plastic bag. bag yeah. I mean, that to me, that's kind of like, oh. So, what do you think I did? 
he asked him if you could move it. Move to the left. I'm not going to ask him to move it. I moved it. Oh, the, oh that, uh, that. How did I move it? By moving, move by moving to the that. left. You still don't like the picture. Yeah, I'm not real excited about the picture because you're right, the horizon. I, I took it in a big hurry as an example. Okay, so I didn't make a photograph, I took a picture. Just because what I wanted to do, as I'm walking along, I, I see him there and I thought, oh, that could be an interesting photograph. Oh, look at the bag. Oh, wait a minute. This could be part of the, you know, as we discuss what's in a photo and what's not. And so I did that. And I probably shouldn't be showing you my really bad shots. So, <laughs> who's this guy? Yeah? Should you have moved a bit from the front with all the cement? Oh yeah, I think to make it a to make it a really a better photograph, uh, I would I would bring it all to the back to a level, and I might have come over here a little bit. I got I would have gotten closer, coming closer, mm -hmm. and try and and create a line that might go like this. If you could go like this, because then this is a path leading into the water. Mm -hmm. You'd be close enough. You could see that he's he's got an iPad or something here. And then, and then over here you'd have the weeds so that you would put it into context. But you would have this taking you out in the water and you'd be rid of that if I made it a real photograph. Okay. Concept three. So where do you usually hold uh, your iPhone when you're taking a photograph? Yeah, exactly. We all go like this. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, this is, depending on your height, obviously, is your, that's your point of view. And if you look at static pictures that are taken from here, they all kind of look the same. It's, it's interesting, 35 millimeter camera, which is what slides were and all of that sort of stuff, that's about the ratio that the eyes use, right? So it's a very common, comfortable way of seeing. It doesn't add a whole lot of interest to what we have. So the question is not what your eye sees, it's what does your camera see? Because the camera doesn't have the ability that your eye does to you know, do peripheral vision and all of that sort of stuff. It's pretty constrained. So this is if you were walking at the ball field, I just turned and took a photo, right? Because I thought it was kind of an interesting it says, here's what goes on at the ballpark, you know? But it's just like, yeah, okay. I love that sign is still there, and you watch all the softball games, all this stuff, nobody's wearing a mask, you know? You watch all the dogs. Yeah, that's dogs right, yeah, that's the other part, yeah. <laughs> oh my. So, all I did was drop my hands this, like this, and then like that. Interesting. And here's what happened. Interesting. Point of view. I guess we have to have a, a real reason why you took it to appreciate it. <laughs> no matter where you stood. Yes, yeah. <laughs> You're absolutely right. But I, I, I was wandering around trying to find photos I could take that would express point of view. You know, as, I, as I said, I could go back into my catalog of 20,000 photos and, and find some, but they're ones that have all been manipulated and all of that. This is about how we're going to use our phone to take photographs. Because this is, I, I actually find this kind of fun. I think this car wrecks it to a certain extent. I would take that out if I could. Um, but I just think, I just think it's, you know, <laughs> it's just an interesting statement of what's there. We're, we're glad you do. Yeah, fine. At least some of us doing it. Huh? <laughs> All right, so you don't like my pictures of trash collectors. <laughs> okay, I'll see if I can improve. How about this? It's too bad the cars are so shiny. Yep. What else? She seems out of focus. Yeah, she's a little bit. Um, 
Look yeah. at the side pictures, they're better. The light hits. Yeah, the side pictures are much better. Uh, the light yeah, hits the right. tree. The light hits the tree? Yeah, this track, totally. Well, I, I, I actually took it because of the light. I thought, well, that, that light streaming cross on her is really kind of cool. Yeah. And it's a line that directs your eye to her. It's a line that, yeah, that's right. Look at all those cars. And then look at just to the right of the tree. Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. that's a little those legs. Mm -hmm. I mean, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so to me, it's a messy picture. Yeah. All right? Messy. The stuff on the ground. Yeah, so I changed my point of view. This time, I went like this. Interesting. Okay? Yeah. Like that. And that's what I got. Oh, for God's sake. Uh, no, man. How do you know, is it just years of practice, that when you put your camera up there, that in any way, shape, or form, it's hitting what you wanted to? The trick of that is, you put it up there, and you point it in the general direction, you'll click, 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 and when you go back, you look through the 15 pictures, and one of them turned out. <laughs> okay. Or, um, I know that way. Yeah, I think we all, we all do that. Uh, but there's also, on some cameras, uh, You can take this, and if you go like that, oh, I can wow. see. You can see what you're taking. Or you can go like that. That's one thing you don't get on your phone. You don't get to do that with your phone, no. So, but that's, the idea. That's, no, that's wonderful. That's nice. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, very much better. And all the lines point to her. Yeah. Which is good. Except for the elders. I like the sun shining on her and the tree. Yeah, I do too. Mm -hmm. I take the burn cigarette out or something. Yep. Whatever it is. So if I were, yeah, if I were to manipulate this photo, you're absolutely right. I'd get rid of the cigarette butts, all of that, mm -hmm. and I would actually stop all of this, take it out of focus, because I find I find this distracting. You know. Too much. Yeah, there's just too much going on. It's still what, a busy. What, what are the black things? Are they ropes or where? Reflecting. Going across the, the shadows. The yeah, shadows of reflecting. here. No up. Are those here? telephone line? No, are they telephone lines? Are those two? Well, that this is the path of green light. No, no, the right. black line right below your finger. That. That. And the one below that. Yes. One wow. of the fun things about taking photographs is that many times you don't realize you have things in it. Oh, yes. I didn't notice those. So <laughs> they have to. It has to be shadows. This one doesn't continue. Yeah, they have. Are the, and I didn't see them in the other picture. If they're there, I didn't see them. Well, you wouldn't because. Well, let's see. Mm -hmm. Oops. Distracting <laughs> up the car. Oh, right? they're in the black. Yeah, you yeah. can see. Yeah, you can. They it's got to be shadows. Good. Yeah. Yeah. So that the converse is true as well. There have been many times when I get home and I look at a photograph, and I go, I didn't see that. That's great. Mm -hmm. You know, so there's a lot of luck, all right? So, good concept. Move in closer. Less is more. And what is the camera's point of view? Okay. Questions? People write notes, which what, is what is your website? Which is encouraging. <laughs> Isn't that good? <laughs> <laughs> what What's your, your website, website, Frank? The website is Frank Greif, G R E I F Photography dot com. I think another one of the key concepts, especially in the age of digital photography, is just shoot 30 photos and then you'll get one that's yeah. good. You know, that's, I think that's so important, especially if you're not using photo editing software. That's been my experience. Right. Anyway. I think you're right, Alan. You, you know, it, there are a couple of ways of thinking about that. Taking lots of photos, trade your eye. 
the, the downside of that is if you do, just go out and scatter shoot, click, 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 you're not, you're not going to learn anything. Right. So it has to be, yes. wow, that's an interesting thing. I want to take some pictures of it. Um, what if I tried this? Click, click, click. What if I tried that? Click, 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 click. Then you take your 15 right. and you come back, well, that didn't work, this worked, and, and that's what you do. Mm -hmm. But to just go out and go snap, 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 which quite frankly, it's a really hard thing for me. I get, I'm get i like a little puppy dog sometimes. And I'm at just out there going click, click. My camera, my good camera, shoots 15 frames a second. Wow. So I go out there and go, okay. <laughs> well, you know, what are you doing, Frank? You know, it's kind of like just hoping something turns out. That's taking pictures, not making pictures. Mm -hmm. yeah. Joanne? Oh. I was just thinking, I guess you saw my mind going. I did. I, I was thinking, you know, like um, in sports photojournalism, that's the kind of camera they use. They just yeah. take a yep. ton of pictures. So there was a big around. basketball tournament over here this weekend. Yeah, that was great. Uh, and I probably spent three hours over there, and I bet you I took a thousand pictures. Wow. Oh, I, I had a so big cool. lens, and I've got great photographs. Of, I'll bring some. Of, of, of just uh, the net and hands going like this. I mean, I just really had fun. But I took a lot of photographs, and a lot of them were, I just hope something turns out, and some of them were intentional. So, yeah. So I would like to know, we've got 15 minutes and I have a little exercise to do, but I would like to know this. Um, this is a, like, this is a four-part series, right? And so, and Monday's at 10. Um, so next Monday, let's meet and we'll talk about a couple of, of things. And then, uh, if you're comfortable, we'll go across to the lake. Does that make sense? Great. Okay. And then we, we, we will do that. Um, so bring your phone, make sure it's charged, right? Uh, and I'll give you an assignment. So we're not just going over there going, what am I going to take a picture of? I'll give you an assignment so that, Great. you know. Um, and then, I thought since you all have your phones with you, right? Um, if we could, uh, are there light, bright lights up here? I can turn the lights. Up? Yeah, turn on, turn on the lights if you would. Yep. And I think I'll probably stop recording at this point. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Okay. That way we, we'll we have sort of the lecture part and then. Yeah. Okay. okay. So we're stopping the recording.